My name is Arian Sandrud and I'm a composer. And in composing music is always searching for something new, I think. You want to express something new. Um, for me, it's very important to touch people with our music. So I'm, 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 if I can, I try to shake people a bit, like wake up, you know. For me, it's very much about communicating something to my audience. I, I want, the audience is, is everything in the end. Um, but of course, you're always uh, your own audience sometimes, so um, it's very important to be honest in your music. I wouldn't be able to write something that I, that I um, wouldn't like to hear myself, so to speak. I kind of try to make music that I would like to hear in a concert. When you work with instruments, you have a set of possibilities that the instrument, in, in terms of sound the instruments can create, that you have to work with. When it comes to speakers, those limits don't really exist. There are other technical limits that you might have an imagination of what you want to do, but you don't know really how to create it. So of course there are limits there also. But the limits are more invisible because the speaker is just an object that can sound like a, can sound like a symphony orchestra, or it can sound like a scrape on a piece of paper, or it can sound like anything. So there's very little said about what, what the sound would be. So you open up kind of a box of possibilities um, and that is that is quite fascinating um, because you, you you have so many options for the routes you want to go with your music so that's one exploration I, I I like to do and I always like to bring in um, the human aspect in bringing in a performer on stage so most of my pieces have some aspect of um, having a performer involved uh, or a singer involved um, not all of them, but almost everything. And that way I kind of connect back to the, what, what could be thought of as a traditional concert.